In my last video, I gave you a quick introduction to machine learning using Apache Spark ML. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to machine learning using scikit-learn. We're going to do the same exact use case, where we're going to show you how to predict house prices. In this case, we're going to take the, little, the demo a little bit further, where we're going to show you how to save your machine learning model to the file system, and then load that from a, a separate application. In this case, it's going to be an end-user application, a web-based application that the user can go to and predict the value of their home. We're going to use MiniEnv just like we did in the last tutorial. Uh, MiniEnv is a way to share sample applications that run inside a web browser, uh, but also allow you to edit the sample applications. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is the MiniEnv in interface. If you watched my last tutorial, I had five tutorials. Uh, now there's um, six or seven. <laughs> Uh, so I have a new one which is Intro to Scikit-Learn, which is pretty much the exact same tutorial that uh, I showed in my last video, only using Scikit-Learn instead of SparkML. And then I have this one called Scikit-Learn uh, Scikit Scoring, and that's the one we're going to use today. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run, and this is going to start up my environment. So again, this is going to start up an environment only for me. No one else has access to this environment. And the environment is going to include a couple of different tabs, and you'll see them show up here in a second. So just like the last tutorial, we have a notebook tab. That's the Jupyter Notebook we're going to walk through to do our machine learning. We have an edit tab. Uh, in this case, you're going to be able to edit not only your data, but actually edit the code of the web app, which is in a new tab. As you can see, they're called the web app. So let's start with the notebook. All right, so this is a super simple uh, machine learning example running inside a Jupyter Notebook. And if you're not familiar with Jupyter Notebooks, it's basically a web-based interface that consists of cells that you execute. So cells can either be marked down, so informational, tell people uh, what's, uh, what you're doing inside your notebook, or their code that actually gets executed. So I'm gonna walk through this pretty quickly. First, we're gonna import pandas in, in scikit-learn. And then we're gonna load our house prices from a CSV file. If you didn't watch the last video, let me show you what that is. Um, so if I go to my edit tab, you'll see I have an app folder and a data folder. In the data folder, I have houseprices.csv. So this is the data we're going to use to train our machine learning model. It's not a lot of data. You would never use this much data to really train a machine learning model. But in this case, I just want to show you how everything works and not focus on the, the quality of the model itself. So I can actually add another house to this list. save it, and if I go back into my notebook and reload it, we'll actually get that data. So that's one of the nice things about running uh, this tutorial in the, in the web browser. First of all, I didn't have to install anything on my local machine, but I also can play with the data, and, and as I'll show you in a second, I can play with the code. All right, so we have our pandas data frame called PDF, and you'll notice a, a, a data frame is essentially, uh, looks like a table or a spreadsheet. And now we're going to pull out our features and our label. In this case, our features are going to be square foot and bedrooms. Those are the, the columns we're going to use to, to train our model um, or to calculate price. And then price is our label. So that's the target value we're trying to predict. All right, so we're saying we're going to use square foot and bedrooms. We want to use that data to figure out a formula that helps us predict price. So basically, x is our features, Y is our label. Just like the last tutorial, we're going to use linear regression. We're just using the linear regression class out of the, the scikit-learn linear model package here and with defaults. So we're not adding anything special. We're not tweaking it in any way. And then we're just going to call fit, passing in our, our, sorry, our features and our label. And then we can make a quick prediction in here. So this model predicts that a house with a square foot of 2,400 and four bedrooms is valued at $134,722. Okay. So in the last tutorial, I kind of just stopped there. But what good is a machine learning model if it just lives inside a notebook, right? So ultimately, you want to expose this machine learning model to your other applications. And that's what we're going to do next. So with simply two lines of code, we're going to save this model to the file system. 
So you can see I'm importing a library called joblib, and I'm just calling dump, and I'm dumping the linear regression uh, variable to a, uh, a, a file called houseprices.pickle. So we'll do that. And then we can just test it real quick in the notebook to make sure that it's working. So I can load that model, run a prediction on the model, and you can see I get the same exact uh, result. All right, so now we have a web app. And obviously this is a really simple, really basic web app where a user can go enter in the square footage, the number of bedrooms in the color, click Submit, and it'll give them a prediction. And you can see it's giving us the same prediction. But how is this actually working? So if I go to the Edit tab again, I can actually see the app code. And this is a very simple Flask app. There's only two routes, the root, where we serve uh, a static index.html file. And you can change this if you want. Uh, the back end, uh, again, the app.py, this is a Flask app. So we have another route, which is API slash predict house price. So when you click that submit button in the web app, it's calling this. And you can see we're doing the same thing we did in the notebook. We're loading the machine learning model from the file system. We're running predict with the data that's coming from uh, the, web, the web app. And then we return uh, JSON that just says it was successful and the price. So you can find this tutorial on GitHub in my repository, Mark Watson ATX slash tutorial dash scikit learn dash scoring. And like all of my tutorials that run inside Minium, um, this was built using Docker Compose. So you can run this locally, simply clone the repo and run Docker Compose up and you're good to go. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please let me know. Thanks.